Firmware 3.0 for the GR1 granular synthesizer has now been released and will address file handling for samples, patches and performances. Before updating your firmware, it is recommended to first create a backup of your current work because this firmware update will change the GR1 file structure. For USB, first download the latest firmware available on the GR1 support page on our website and drag this file into the root folder of your USB drive without unzipping it. Now insert the USB drive or an Ethernet cable in the back of the GR1. Enter the system menu with Shift plus Performance, navigate to Check Firmware Upgrade, push the Select Encoder to check the firmware update and push it again to initiate the update procedure. Wait until the procedure is finished and now remove the USB drive or Ethernet cable and reboot the GR1. For the most optimal use of the firmware, you will need to reflash the image on the internal SD card. This procedure will create a new data partitioning that will give better protection against data corruption. First, download and install the Raspberry Pi imager that is available on raspberrypi.com slash software. Next, go to tastychips.nl slash downloads and navigate to the directory gr1 slash sd and download the latest firmware 3.0 zip file. Power off the gr1 and remove any cable that is inserted in the back. Now open up your unit by unscrewing three screws on the bottom and four on the back. Remove the back panel and carefully take out the SD card from the internal Raspberry Pi. For safety reasons, do not touch any other electronics during this procedure. Insert the SD card in your computer and open the Raspberry Pi Imager application. Go to Operating System and click Use Custom. Navigate to the location of the firmware zip file, select it and click open. Now select your SD card as the storage device and press next. Wait until the image is fully written and verified and then remove the SD card from your computer when it's done. Now carefully insert the SD card back into your GR1 and screw the back panel back in place. The GR1 is now updated to firmware 3.0 and ready to go.